You hear the words of this. You don't hear them with these ears. You hear them with the ears of the Spirit. You don't speak with this tongue. <laughs> See, that's it. That's the secret. The secret is you hooking your tongue up to your spirit, man. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, listen, you're blessed if you read them. You're blessed if you hear them. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 So when I start reading about a beast or anything like that, I'm blessed. I'm not fearful. No. When I start hearing about, oh, how come on, how do you, the, 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 the angel casting this out and the plagues coming and all that stuff, I'm blessed. Yes. If I read these words, it's empowering me. Right. Now, what it is, is I can't read them with a natural mind. I can't try to comprehend it with a natural mind. How do you, because faith ain't released by your natural mind. That's right. It's not released by your natural mind. If I read this book naturally, I, I, I'm not blessed. I don't know where to be fearful or not. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard one guy say he's really changed his way of speaking now. But he was speaking on faith and fear. And he said, well, don't be afraid. Don't have fear in your life. Because now, because the fearful will be thrown into a lake of fire. I'm sitting there thinking, well, now I've got to be afraid to be afraid. <laughs> now you just enhanced my fear. <laughs> what was happening? It was being interpreted with a natural mind. Yes. Exactly. But bless this thing. You know, hallelujah. He goes on to say the words of this prophecy. And keep. And keeps those things. What does it mean to keep it? It means to walk it out. It means to fulfill it. To unveil it. To keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Hallelujah. The time... The time for you to be blessed this morning is at hand. The time for you to keep the words of the book of Revelation. We spent a lot of time, thank God, we come through. A lot, of, a lot of ministries stay in the Gospels. They stay at the death of Christ. Some of them have come and partaken of the first fruits to a certain extent, but it's just merely some kind of theological experience with really. But you got to come out of the Gospels. you got to come into the epistles. Yes. Sure you do, yes. Amen. Right. you got to pass through Acts, and you can't stay at Acts chapter 2. No. He said three times a year. Yeah, that's right. So you keep walking. You come through the epistles, but I'm here to tell you, if you want to be blessed, you got to come into the book of Revelation. Amen. That's right. You got to come into the Feast of Tabernacles. Yes, amen. You got to come into the Feast of Fullness. Hallelujah. You got to be willing, and we're going to get in this. You got to be willing, as Joshua and Caleb say, Hey, I know that it is my promise to eat of the foretaste, but he told me that I didn't have to raid the land, that I could live in the land of fullness. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, what, how do we do this? By our words. By words of faith. Right. And acting on the word. You got your Bible? Hold it up. You don't have one? Same on you? Hold your hands up. Say God's word. In my mouth. Spoken by my mouth. Is still God's word. Hallelujah. God's word in my mouth, spoken by my mouth, is still God's word. Hallelujah. You know how John got off the island of Patmos? He ate the word. The minute he ate the book, hallelujah. How I many of those angels said, you're going to prophesy again? Hallelujah. That's how you get off the island of Patmos. 
Bible said, you ain't your way into it. You're going to eat your way out of it. Amen. We're going to eat the Word. We're going to drink the Word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to get inside of it. To where our conversation is the Word of God. Our speech is the, hallelujah, is the, is the very realm of heaven. Which is the word, is the wisdom of God. Jesus said himself that the word of God was the wisdom of God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. Amen. Let him ask in faith, nothing waver, without hesitating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? Because he gives to you liberally. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. I can walk in the realm of unlimited supply of the wisdom of God in my life. Not facing one decision without knowing what direction to take. Because I come to Him. And I come to Him believing. And I come to Him believing that He is. And that He is a rewarder. Not a punisher. Not a withholder. He said, I was holding nothing. No good thing. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't like where you are? Change what you say. Amen. Amen. See, where we're going, where we're learning dumb, dumb, ignorant. We've been ignorant of a lot of things. Let's be ignorant to discouraging words. Amen. Hallelujah. We've listened to enough discouraging men. Now that's why I wanted to read, read that, that, that verse there in Revelation. When it comes to the book of Revelation, I, I, ain't, I don't hear too many encouraging messages coming out of Revelation. But man, the Feast of Tabernacles, this unveiling of Christ is the fullness of sonship being revealed. And man, you're blessed. Amen. You're empowered to hear it, to read it, to hear it, to keep it. My God. Hallelujah. I've kept the feast of Passover. That's right. And man, I was blessed when I kept that feast. Hallelujah. I kept the feast of Pentecost, the first fruits, the foretaste. Many of you know when that feast, hallelujah, when that experience came in, you were blessed, couldn't hold you down. Couldn't keep you down for nothing. Boy, hallelujah. Well, they ain't going to be able to really keep us down. Yeah. Hallelujah. When we come, hallelujah, when we're fully persuaded in the unveiling of Christ. Hallelujah. Right here, right now, hallelujah, if Passover was fulfilled in the earth, and if Pentecost has been fulfilled according to Acts chapter 2 in the earth, well, guess where? <laughs> The Feast of Tabernacles shall be unveiled at. Right here in the earth. Right in the earth. Yes. Amen. It's already in the blueprint. Yes. It's already in the seed. Hallelujah. Yes. It's already in the life of Christ in you. And when that life shall appear, we shall appear also with Him. Yes. Amen. 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 So go with me this morning. Let's, let's just begin this, this journey. Go with me to 1 John chapter 5. Say, I'm blessed. I've read the words. <laughs> I've heard the words. And I'm keeping the words. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Verse 1 of 1 John 5. Whosoever. <laughs> well. <Yes>. Hallelujah. <laughs> Right, if you, if you like writing your Bible, say, I'm whosoever. You write it right there. He's talking to me. Amen. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is, the, is born, of God. born of God. And everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. Right. By this, yeah. we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. <laughs> Fulfill his words. Yes. Walk in the light of his words. Proverbs says.
lives, the entrance of His Word giveth light. You want to walk in light, walk in the Word. You want to walk and keep the commandments, you just simply walk out trusting in Him, fulfilling His Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, what are you doing? You're just setting His Word out there and He watches over His Word or He hastens His Word. That's Jeremiah to perform it. He said in the age to come, He's going to show exceedingly. He's going to put a performance on. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Abraham, fully persuaded. That's <laughs> right. And what God commanded. What God commanded. And what He had promised. He was able. He was able. He was able to perform. <laughs> well, if He was able to Abraham, He's able to you. He don't respect persons. Hallelujah. 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 For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments and His commandments are not grievous for whatsoever. <laughs> whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Hallelujah. Who is he that overcometh the world? He's about to, he's going to elaborate on even more. He's just going to remind you. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Now, do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Then you have world overcoming faith. Hallelujah. 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 Now, if you're not seeing it operate in your life, that don't change the word. Amen. If you're not seeing results of it, it don't change the word. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't change the word. We believe on the word. If there's anything that has to be changed, it's the way we operate. Amen. Hallelujah. 90% of the way we operate or changing the way we operate is changing what comes out of our mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Life and death is in the power. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why when you, when you speak the Word of God, you're releasing. You're releasing, hallelujah, the faith that's in the Word that comes by the Word. You're releasing out. You're releasing a force. We'll get more into that. Hallelujah. Now, quit arguing with the word this morning. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yes. That's what I want you to do. Amen. Today. Stop arguing with the Bible. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. See, the basis of your faith is not what you feel. No. The foundation that you're dealing with faith with yeah. is not your physical senses. No way. It's not the scene. Right. <laughs> the basis of my faith is the Word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if the Word of God says I have world overcoming faith, hallelujah. 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 I have world overcoming faith. Oh. Amen. Hallelujah. Whether it be the world of Egypt, right. the world of the wilderness, world of Babylon, right. world of religion, Hallelujah. amen. I have the victory because yes. I have the faith of God. Yes. Hallelujah. If I have the word of God in my mouth, I have the faith of God in my mouth. Yes. Hallelujah. I want us to look now at Romans chapter 10. Dumb to the skirt. Yeah. Dumb to the sense of we have no understanding of saying something to the skirt. Right. When somebody comes with us huh, with some kind of I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. They should, they should look at you and say 
You are totally oblivious to what I'm saying. Hallelujah. He looked like he didn't even understand what I was coming at. Now, I ain't saying you don't have compassion. What I'm saying is, is you don't bring yourself down to that. Amen. You keep a watch on your lip. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're ignorant to the fact of discouragement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you ain't strengthening somebody, you're weakening somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just, if I ain't able in you, I'm disabled. You. Yes. Amen. And now you speak this with life. You don't speak it with condemnation. You speak it encouraging. To bring, to lift one up. To lift one up into the realm of faith. Amen. To understand, hallelujah, that the very basis, if you, hallelujah, the basis of your salvation was faith. The basis of, hallelujah, of your living. If you're not living by faith, you're dying. If you're not living at all. If you're not walking by faith, then you're not walking. That's just the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And all you mean is in the Bible this morning. Amen. Amen. So look at verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe. Here's these whosoever again. Hallelujah. It's not a preacher faith. It's not an apostle faith. It's not a prophet faith. It's a whosoever. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We got uh, glory to God. Amen. Whosoever believeth Jesus is Christ. Hallelujah. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And the victory that overcomes is a faith. Hallelujah. So this overcoming life is not just for the pastor. It's not just for the evangelist. It's not just for the teacher. Hallelujah. It's for everyone. Well, are you born of God this morning? Yeah, you're born of God this morning. Hallelujah. Well, you got this in you. Yes. Hallelujah. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and to everyone that believeth. Yes. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man who doeth those things shall live by them. Right. But the righteousness which is of faith yes. speaketh on this wise. Hallelujah. This is the word of the righteousness of faith. The righteousness, the correct of faith. Hallelujah. Like I said, it's not, it ain't just for the preacher to speak. Right. It's not just for, hallelujah, the pastor to speak. Right. But it's for him that believeth. Yes, God. Well, I just don't have it. Quit arguing with the Bible. That's right. I just don't have it in me. Quit arguing with the Bible. We spend so much time trying to convince ourselves. Hallelujah. As if the word segregated. Hallelujah. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, say not in thy heart, not in your head, in your spirit. Say not in your heart, who shall ascend into heaven? Uh, that is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? What's the it there? The righteousness which is of faith. What saith it? What does faith say? That's right. What does words of faith say? Here's what it says. The Word. Yes. Hallelujah. The Word is nigh thee. Yes. Hallelujah. Remember we just read in Revelation 1 that the time is at hand. That word for hand is translated nigh 
not. That's right. The keeping, the fulfilling is not. Hallelujah. It's at hand. Yes. Hallelujah. How close is it? It's so close that I can speak it right into existence. Yes. Hallelujah. The speech of tabernacles is so much. Hallelujah. So close upon us. I can taste it on my mouth. Hallelujah. That I can release the speech of the Lord. Hallelujah. A new dimension of life for creation to walk in. To see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Where he'll no longer just be a hope in me. But he'll be a revelation being sent out.
some examples of this. Go with me to Acts chapter 3. I'm just going to show you my whole point in the beginning of this part. It's basically to show you that you are the whosoever. Let's just read. Y'all like reading the Bible? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 3, verse 1. Familiar story, but let's just read. Hallelujah. Sometimes what don't go by everything you memorize in your head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need an answer for it. Open this Bible up. Start looking. I don't care if you got it memorized. Hallelujah. Where the comma goes and all of the part the parentheses and everything. Open this word up and look at it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Yes. Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful. Now hallelujah. That means they, they've seen him before. That's right. Mm -hmm. See him. Hallelujah. To ask alms of them that entered the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go in the temple, asking alms, and Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive, to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name. Yes. Say it, in the name. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk, and he took him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He spoke faith. Yes. Faith. Come on. Hallelujah. You don't speak his name unless it's got the faith that's carried. Wow. Get getting hold of that this morning. He doesn't give the commandment. He gave you a commandment in verse John. This is the commandment that you believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he doesn't issue the commandment without the faith to bring the commandment to pass. Hallelujah. Grace will not leave you faithless. Grace will not leave you faithless this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So whosoever believeth, whosoever shall say, to this mountain. It's whosoever, hallelujah, whosoever for God so loved the world that whosoever just as freely you'll find this in Ephesians chapter 6 the second to last verse of it, just as freely as he freely gives his love away, he freely gives his faith. Praise God. <laughs> He's just as free flowing with his faith as he is with his love. How is it? By his word. By his word. By his word. In the presence of your enemies. I'm going to sit down with you, son. And I'm going to fellowship with you. I'm going to impart. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 says, My son. Attend to my words. If you come and ask if you see me on the street somewhere, and you want to talk to me, and I said, hey, just give me, give me, give me a few minutes. I got something I have to attend. That means I'm telling you there's something I got to handle first. There's something that's priority. Something I have to go. That's what it means to attend to his word. Hallelujah. To attend to his word simply means putting his word as priority. Amen. As the source. As the answer. Hallelujah. I won't have time today, but we'll get into this. How do you mix faith with the word? If that is the answer or the avenue for me to enter into the rest of God, Hallelujah, then there must be some, there has to be some proof of it in my life. Hallelujah. And the gist of it is you allow the word to convert you. I 
hear some of you now saying, well, I am converted. I don't drink. I don't cuss. I don't do this. I don't do that. Let me ask you this. Is the Word of God the answer? Is by His stripes I am healed the answer? That's where it converts me. When it becomes the answer in my life. And if I receive that as the answer, then I begin to speak as one healed. It converts my way of speaking. I begin to act as one that's healed. That's how you mix faith with the Word of God. And we'll get, we'll get more, into, more into that. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk, and he took him. Here we go. He spoke faith, then he acted in faith. He took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Look at verse 12. And when Peter saw it, saw all the people gathered, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? As though by our own power or by our own holiness, hallelujah, we have made this man to walk. In other words, because, hallelujah, it's not like we have some special kind of faith. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. It ain't because this, this pastor's on TV preaching. That's not what this is about. Amen. It ain't even because, hallelujah, we've seen him in the flesh and we walk the streets of Galilee with him. Hallelujah. Glory. God, that's not why this was done, but look in verse 16, it says, and in his name, and through faith in his name, hath made this man strong who ye see and know, yeah, the faith which is by him, by who, the man, by the man, hallelujah, by the man, he was expecting to receive, oh, hallelujah, he was, oh, but Peter said, look on us. He was expecting to receive. Hallelujah. And Peter said, I don't have nothing for me to give. He still was expecting to receive. And Peter took him by the hand and said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. And he lifted him up. Amen. Hallelujah. It wasn't the faith of Peter. Peter had faith. What the faith of John? John had faith. It was a faith of man. Yes. He had faith in hope. Faith in his name. Through faith in his name hath made this man strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness. That's right. In the presence of you all. Hallelujah. 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 Acts, Acts chapter 6. Hallelujah. We find the faith evident. Hallelujah. In the lame man we just talked about. Look at this. Hallelujah. Now we're dealing with... Uh, some uh, Greek-speaking Jews have come because the widows were not being attended to. Yeah. And the disciples or the apostles said, we're going to give ourselves to prayer and word. Choose among you seven men. Seven men. Hallelujah. Verse 5, And the same pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith. Hallelujah. Full of faith and of the Holy Ghost and Philip. Right. And they went through the list. Verse 7, look at this. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to what? To the faith. 
That's the whole gist of the new covenant. You being obedient to the faith. Yes. Not to the law. Amen. To the faith. Hallelujah. And Stephen. Full of what? Faith. faith and power. Did what? Great wonders. wonders. And miracles. <laughs> among the people. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you want to put it, I guess, in some kind of Terms made you understand it. Hallelujah. Uh, he was a deacon. Full of faith. Hallelujah. Full of power. Full of the Holy Ghost. Had great... See... You ain't got to wait for Matt. You ain't got to wait for me. You ain't got to wait for anybody. If you've got the Holy Ghost, you're full of power this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Full of faith. Stephen was full of faith. Glory to God. Look at Acts chapter 8. We'll stop with this. Verse 5. Did Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached what? Christ. Yes. Different see, Hallelujah. Huh. And the people with one accord gave heed unto what? Those things which Philip spake. Hearing, 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 hearing what? Hearing his theology? No. Hearing him preach Christ. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did for unclean spirits. Crying with a loud voice came out of them that were possessed. Many taken with palsy and they were lame were healed. And there was great joy in the city. Verse 12. But when they believed Philip preaching the things. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now. There's many waves of acts of faith. Faith can be released. It ain't. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's by the laying on of hands. That's one way. But there's times in a service that you can just hear the words that are being preached. Hallelujah. And that. I believe what we're coming to where there's so much faith embodied in the word that are coming out of our mouth. Hallelujah. That it won't have to wait till there's time to lay on our hands. They're right in the midst of it. Hallelujah. Limbs will begin to grow. Oh, hallelujah. Ears will begin to hear miracles, signs, and wonders. He preached the things concerning the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Now I know you're going to hear a lot about the name tonight. Faith can lay hold of that. And signs and wonders can be wrought. Just simply by us hearing, not with these ears. Hearing from in here what's being said about that name. Hallelujah. And Simon himself believed also when he was baptized. He continued. Hallelujah. Was Philip and wondered, beholding the signs, the miracles and signs which were done. Which were done. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to finish with this thought here. Paul says in Romans chapter 1 that I'm not ashamed of the gospel. That's right. For it is the power of God unto salvation to the Jew first and to the Greek. I'm going to leave you with this thought. I want you to think on it all week. Ponder it in your heart. Faith takes the word of God and converts it into the power of God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. The good news. The word. For it is the power. 
faith converts it. Hallelujah. There's power running through these wires. But when you flip the switch, it's converted. Yeah. <laughs> it's converted into something you can see. It's returning into something, come on, into results, to proof. That's what faith is. Faith is flipping the switch on the Word of God. Amen. <laughs> and it releases the power, the force that's behind it. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you this morning. You are victorious. You're a people of faith. You're a people of faith. You have it in you. You're that whosoever. Jesus said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Woo! Hallelujah. Be thou removed. Be thou cast into the sea. Hallelujah. Shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe whatsoever those things which he said. Hallelujah. Shall come to pass. Verily, verily, I say. Well, he was included in the whosoever, wasn't he? Well, yes, he was. Amen. So everything he says, I doubt he's doubting in his heart. I doubt he's doubting the word. Huh? I'm sure he's believing. So what did he say? 